there is an inherent viciousness uh, that women possess, which cannot be denied. When uh, Alexander the Great finally defeated the Persian Empire, it was his wife at the time who insisted that he burns down the glorious capital of Persepolis. And it is said that he argued with her, but why? They have already, uh, you know, admitted defeat. She said, burn it. And he listened to it. And it is said that he soon regretted uh, destroying such a beautiful thing. Shakespeare says, hail hath no fury like a woman scorned. And in the wild animal kingdom, it's often the female that does the vicious hunting. Uh, men have uh, more tendency to be physically violent, but women have a more tendency to be uh, psychologically and, and non-vicious in a non-physical uh, way, and that's been proven throughout history. Now, this doesn't mean that one uh, gender is worse than the other or whatever, but uh, fact cannot be denied. The fact is that the capacity to be vicious is present in, in many women. And, and uh, in the world of uh, criminology, it is known that uh, what separates a, a, a true criminal, someone who crosses the line, man or woman, to, uh, you know, to commit murder, um, is something that is present in them from, from birth. You know, you either have the, uh, the capacity to cross that line or you stop yourself. You know in your heart which one you are, you know. Some people couldn't even uh, join the military because they just don't have the capacity to kill another, uh, you know, a human being. But others not only have no problem with it, but they actually thrive on it, you know, like serial murderers and, 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 and you know, psychopaths and things like that. Uh, but the point of, uh, of the video is that that viciousness is present in women and uh, you know um, truth be told it may not be uh, brought to surface uh, unless extreme circumstances require it but that uh, meanness that viciousness is in them and and you know in the in the in the world of in the realm of uh, romantic relationships many of you have uh, experienced that when a woman no longer sees a man uh, suitable to uh, you know, carry her where she wants to go, she can turn off emotions and uh, and kindness and everything to the point that she will become almost unrecognizable to you. You know, she almost despises you and, and appears like she hates you or doesn't want to have anything to do with you and that she, like she never knew you. Like all the times you shared together, all the things you said together, you know, all the pillow talk, all the times that you protected each other meant nothing to her. As long as you are of no longer, the moment she realizes and she decides, she decides you are no longer of any use to her, you will see that face. You will see that cold, calculating uh, side of her that you had, may not have seen before or may not, have, may not have even realized that it's there. But it is there in most women. Now, like anything else as human beings, uh, it's uh, present in varying, <coughs> excuse me, in varying, uh, uh, you know, uh, degrees. But that viciousness is there. And, uh, you know, uh, just as always, my videos are, this is not going to solve the, what I'm te telling you in all my videos, including this one, is not going to solve the uh, inherent uh, issues, inherent facts that are there, but it's going to mentally prepare you to tackle and understand it and it is just as good in many cases it is just as good as a as having a remedy or a anti venom to a venom because now you understand and to me that is the very definition and the very intelligent way of uh, describing what uh, the present day uh, manosphere whatever it's called a red pill a red pill is understanding what is 
truly behind someone's intention as opposed to what we thought. Oh, uh, in layman's terms, oh, she's with me because she loves me. She's with me because she's in love with um, the way I look. She's with me because she just loves my, uh, my body and my muscles. She is with me because she loves the way I make love to her. No, all of those things mean nothing to a woman. Again, I, at the risk of repeating myself, whether you are Ronaldo or whoever you think is the, is the highest form of a, of a man, you know, or some average working stiff, it does not matter to her. The only reason a woman is with you is because she thinks you can facilitate uh, providing for her what she wants and needs now they could be those wants and needs could be anything true finances of a man is with regard to 99% of the women on the top you know top category of, of things that are important to her but you know who knows you know different things uh, if you're a man you will relate to this we never know we never know why a woman likes us and why she dislikes us or why she at one point was crazy for us and at some point she couldn't stand us we really we really never know we could ask a hundred women you know do you want to go out with me and uh, you know i don't know 70 percent of them say no and 30 percent and 20 percent say uh, maybe and 10 percent say absolutely and we never know why because because and we never will know why because of the simple reason that women are ruled by their emotions and uh, at one day in one day their emotions could be telling them to do this and then the other day or in the same later in the same day their emotions might change and they'll be completely in a different mindset in a different mood if you spend any time with a woman you will relate to what i'm talking about what's the point of making this video on this lovely morning in bangkok thailand was to let you know that the inherently that viciousness that coldness that for lack of a better term meanness it is is a present uh, in, in women and uh, different situations will bring it up and you will experience it just be prepared it is it is what it is and uh, it's not you it happens to all of us don't take it personal understand it and uh, be part of that one two percent of man or people that understands the true reason behind why something is happening and instead of instead of eating yourself and, and hurting and, and 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 you know harming yourself and being sad and morose and whatever have a little smile on your face a smirk on your face a smirk of under deep understanding and move on and go follow your own purpose in life because that's where, that's what's uh, best advice and that's what's going to get you to a beautiful place in life not placing your your happiness and and your well-being in the hands of uh, something that's so vacillating and so changing all the best <laughs>